In this lesson, I have three questions prepared for you on how to prepare solutions from a stock vial or ampule. Now, in case you don't know what an ampule is, it's what you see on your screen. It is one of these small sealed vials that contain a sterile solution, such as medicine. And because they're so tiny, these products are usually not labeled with a concentration that's in a percent or ratio strength but instead their concentrations will be labeled in milligrams per milliliter or even micrograms per microliter. So let's go ahead and find out how to prepare a solution from one of these stock vials or ampules. Question number one reads, prepare 30 milliliters of a five milligram per milliliter oral phenobarbital solution using phenobarbital available from the manufacturer in a 65 milligram per milliliter solution that comes in one milliliter vials. How much stock solution will be required? The very first thing that I want to do to answer this question is to write down the formula Q1C1 is equal to Q2C2. And this is a formula that we've been using in the past few videos, which tells us the quantity times the concentration of the stock solution is equal to the quantity times the concentration of the final solution. Now our final solution they want 30 milliliters, so that will be the quantity. I'll replace Q2 with 30 milliliters. And the concentration that they want is 5 milligrams per milliliter. 5 milligrams per milliliter. On the left side of the equation, we've been told that each vial, and I'll draw that out for you, so there's a little vial which contains this medicine. Each vial has a concentration of 65 milligrams per milliliter, and it comes in a volume of one milliliter. So the concentration of the stock solution is 65 milligrams per milliliter, and we want to find out how many of these vials we will need to produce what we're looking for. So I'll erase that part, and this blank here corresponds to Q sub 1. By solving for Q sub 1, as we've done in previous lessons, we will find our answer. So I'll multiply these two factors out using our calculator 30 times, and you don't even need your calculator for this, but you end up with 150, where the milliliter units cancel out 150 milligrams on the right side of the equation. And on the left side of the equation, this part hasn't changed. What we will do next is divide both sides. So let me rewrite that part and I'll make some more space by moving this down. I'll rewrite that part underneath. I'll divide both sides by 65 milligrams per milliliter so that I isolate for Q sub one. Notice that this and that will cancel out. So using our calculator again, 150 divided by 65 means that we will need 2.3 of these vials. 2.3 and the units will be in milliliters because the milligrams and the milligrams will cancel out leaving you only with milliliters. So you would have to order obviously three vials and only use the third one partially to get to this preparation. Now in case you're wondering about how much active ingredient is found in a single vial, so there's my drawing again, all you do is you take its concentration rated at 65 milligrams per milliliter and multiply it by its volume. So the volume is one milliliter, so multiplying this by one milliliter, watch what happens to the units, they cancel out leaving you with 65 milligrams. So there are 65 milligrams of phenobarbital in one of these vials. If you're still interested in the solutions for questions two and three, please watch the next part of this video that is linked on your screen. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.